Hello everyone, this is a quick demonstration video of the Klangbau Köln logistische Gleichung or logistic equation module, which we are talking about on Mofwigler right now. The module tries to implement the so-called logistic equation in Eurorack form. So the idea is to receive stepped control voltages from the module according to the logistic equation graph, which I've got here on the screen. The module works like this, that you have one trigger input and a trigger output, which just forwards that trigger. And then there are two CV outputs, which are the same and which give you those stepped voltages. So whenever it receives a trigger, it will output a new voltage level, basically like a sample and hold, but not random, like when you use a sample and hold with white noise, for example, but according to this logistic equation. Now, the so-called Verteilung or distribution knob here, that sets how those values are generated, basically. Now, when you look at the left side of the graph, you can see that those values aren't that special. At first, there's really just one value, and then over here, there are actually two, and they will alternate. So there's always going to be a high and a low value after one another with every trigger. But the further right you go on the graph, and actually this is what the distribution knob does here, it will actually basically shift it more to the right, you get more branching and more chaotic values coming out of the CV output. But it will always stay inside of that set range. So let's listen to that. What I'm doing here is I'm going to patch a square wave LFO into the trigger input. And you can already see the indicator light flashing. And then I'll just patch the CV output into a VCO's 1 volt proactive input. So with the distribution knob set counterclockwise, we can now hear basically two values alternating high and low. And when I turn that knob clockwise, you will see that those two values will spread out. The higher notes will be higher and the lower notes will be lower, as you can see on the graph. And they will pretty much stay like that. However, after you reach a certain threshold, like here on the graph, it will start to get more chaotic. So let's listen to that. Okay, here we already hear a new pattern, which is not just two notes, but more. But notice that there are always those high and low notes basically alternating. So it's almost like there's two different melodies going on at the same time. Now the spread between the note control voltages is higher and we don't really recognize repeating patterns that much anymore. Okay, let me show you something else, because there's a reason why there's an input and an output for triggers on the module, and also two CV outputs. If you patch a feedback loop between the logistic equation module and a CV control trigger delay, which Klangbau also offers in their lineup, you can create interesting rhythms as well as those interesting pitch sequences. Let me show you. First, I'm going to patch the first CV output into the VCO again, and then I'll patch the square wave into the input again, just to get the module running. Now, the output for the trigger goes into the trigger input of the trigger delay. And now the second CV output goes into the control voltage input of the trigger delay. So now the CV patterns will control the delay time of the triggers. And now to create a feedback loop, I patch one of the trigger outputs into the trigger input and I have to do that pretty fast so that it keeps the loop going. Okay, so now we have a feedback loop going on with um, the outgoing trigger going into the trigger input of the trigger delay and then the delayed trigger will get out of the delay into the trigger input of the logistic equation again. So let me turn up the volume and see what happens now. So right now, 
when there is a low note, it will be held longer than when there is a high note. So this is really just those two thin modules now creating interesting rhythms and CV patterns. And as you notice, there's a second trigger output on the CV control trigger delay. So now you can use that to clock something else in your modular as well. So those two modules made by Klangbau Köln are really made for each other so that you have enough inputs and outputs to create such a feedback loop and then use the control voltage and the triggers and other modules as well. So I hope this sheds some light on the logistic equation module. If you have some questions, post them below in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.